Welcome to McFarland's Corner. I'm Mike McFarland, your host of the Lake Fort Rundowns. And it is the 7th of May, May 7th, Tuesday. You know, when we give reports like we do all the time, sometimes we are actually making you know, some kind of a theory, conclusion, speculation. It's a one person's opinion survey, whatever you want to call it. It's really nice to see reinforcement that you're correct in your, your thought process or, or your theory. And with that being said, I want to start to show off with the theory of the gates being open on fork makes tough fishing. Is that the is that you know 100% true? After the last four, five, six weeks discussing this, talking about this multiple times, so many times, after seeing so many guys, after years of, of seeing it, after talking to veterans who have been here for 38, 40 years guiding, and they all concur that, yes, the gates open, mess up the bass fishing on fork. The final really conclusion that isn't ironic and, and that proves it and seals the deal is that as of last Saturday, Saturday morning, we reached 403.05 and they closed the gates. I drove by it. The gates were closed. By midday Sunday, fishing was getting good on fork. The past two days on fork have been phenomenal. Whether you're fishing shallow with creature baits and sinkos, or whether you're offshore crank baiting, or whether you're throwing the top water on main lake point shad spawns, or whether you've got some frog fish in vegetation, fish are happy. The stableness has pulled fish back up from wherever they were in a funk in suspension in trees, wondering what's going on. Why is this water on the draw? For six weeks, we have actually had the entire year's annual rainfall. The state of Texas, at least northeast part of Texas, we get about 27 inches per year for an average. We can have up to 50, but this year alone, in six weeks, we've had 27 and a half inches. And the lake has done the biggest two-stepping that I've ever seen it do. Rise three inches, fall two inches, rise six inches, fall five inches. It has been an onslaught of this, as you know, if you follow this report, or if you're a member subscriber, you, you know you know what I'm talking about. We currently got more rain, however, it did come late Saturday night, just after they closed the gates. The benefit, however, or the 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 so the solidification to the theory. Number one, the lake did come back up. So you're seeing 403.35. It came up almost four more inches. And then since yesterday, even a tr trickle more, the creeks are still flowing. But the gates are still closed. My friend just drove by the gates this morning. The gates are closed. Rising water will rise, fish. Falling water pulls them out. But when it's a manipulation of every two, three days coming up and every two, three days coming down, and I don't know why I like for the wide open gates or even one gate just messes up the bass fishing. It messes up the crappie fishing. It really does. Um, and everybody that's been here, anyone that has scheduled trips here, anyone that guides here really knows and believes that. All right. So anyways, enough of that little deal where we are actually in great water temperature 73 76 we're borderline uh, beginning to come back around to what normally would be happening in may which a little late on things so there's still some shad spawn happening pretty soon you're going to have brim the the bluegill sunfish they're going to be spawning uh hopefully no more dramatic rain it looks like you know rains in the forecast and things but it doesn't look anything hopefully heavy you know we don't need one two four five six inches overnight type rain um, and other than that, the lake is in good shape. I can tell you, like I already said, there's a, there's a, a main lake point bite with Carolina rigs. There's still a backwater bite with frogs, sinkos, and, and creature baits, maybe some swim jigs. Uh, 
There's a top water bite on shad spawn areas. A crankbait bite where fish are finally starting to get offshore. And, and I promise you this, it will happen really fast. If we just get one week of clear, typical May weather, heat up fast and, and, and no more rain, the offshore bites is going to go off. It's going to go off and it's going to go off in a big way. And with that being said, I want to share a few other things to the channel or to you guys about things product-wise. Uh, Bahio sunglasses is probably one of the newest, not probably, it is one of the newest, hottest sunglasses on the market. Trey McKinney, uh, a lot of the BAS top elite anglers are running them, they're using them. I started using them last year, and I can tell you that, you know, every time in my past years I've gotten new sets of glasses, I went from Canon to Costa Del Mar and so on and so on. You know, every time I do get a new set, I'm, I'm overwhelmed at how much improvements have been made in the industry each year. Well, that's what we're supposed to do. Things are supposed to get better and better and better. And right now I'm going to tell you that the Bajio design, the amount of types of lenses, colors, etc., and then the frames, the frames that really built to suit so many different faces and, and heads and styles and desires, um, the Bajio brand, to me right now, is way, way top the notch. And then the performance on the water um, is right there. I mean, Bajio, check them out. Give them a try. I know you won't be disappointed. It's almost jig season, guys, and I've got, I've got to tell you that, you know, I, over the years as well, I've used a lot of different jigs. Bass Patrol. Kitech jigs on the West Coast, uh, Santone jigs here in, in Northeast Texas have been my absolute most favorite for a long, long time. I've been with Lake Fork Trophy lures since 2010. Um, witnessed a lot of changes from Mark Pack being a part of them to you know, the passing of Mark Pack and the passing of Ronnie Parker and, and new ownership of Lake Fork Trophy lures. I will say that one of the most unique things I witnessed in this time frame was the bringing home of the Mark Pack lures design, M-Pack lures, to Lake Fork Trophy lures, which was also Mark Pack's original invention. And tying this all into one shop, kind of paying tribute to Mark Pack and in all of his inventions and to Ronnie Parker. Um, but the Lake Fork Trophy lures line of baits was designed by Mark Pack. And then the structure guard, structure jig, was also the, the, the late design impact lures. The impact structure guard jig is today becoming one of my favorites, uh, especially for your deep type stuff, your football jigs when you're throwing them in the wood and the timber and, and things like that. That structure guard really does work well. And what that structure guard really does is it actually helps put that hook in the roof of the mouth. I'm finding I'm losing a lot less fish by using the Impact Lures Structure Guard football jig. And, and then the colors, um, this was the point of sharing this, the color selections, you know, in most jigs these days, you've got all the general colors, the peanut butter, jelly, the spring cross, the brim colors, etc. Mark Pack had a, what's the word? He had a, uh, um, well, I can't come up with the exact word, but a desire. He had an inclination. He had something that he really liked to have um, mylar in his jig. And the mylar creates a little more flash. And so I really believe that that mylar in every one of those impact lure jigs does make a big difference. So there's another thing I can talk about. You know, May is a month that was my favorite month of jig fishing. I highly suggest you take a look at Lake Fork Trophy Lures, Impact Lures, all combined as one big store right here in the factory. The Impact Lure Structure Guard Jig with a little Mylar in there will get you more bites. Okay. Generally, guys, I give you some other reports uh, about crappie fishing here. Before I do, I want you to be aware of that there is an upgraded members-only channel. This is a free subscription channel that you get here. But I have a members-only channel, and then I have one more upgraded, Let's Talk Fishing. The members-only channel is $6.99 a month, and it gives much, much more details 
I talked about crankbaits, top waters. I talked about mainline point bite here on fork. If you want to know exactly what those baits are, exactly the techniques, colors, locations that are best, what part of the lake is best to be fishing, spending your time, I highly suggest you try the members only channel. Subscribe. A bag of baits costs you more than the subscription costs you the entire month. And I know that if you're catching them on a, a, a bag of baits and I suggest that you'll go buy the baits, why not try the channel? $6.99 a month gives you eight reports, much, much more detailed. Not only do you get more detailed on Fork, but I have six other fishing guides that give information on multiple lakes in the Northeast Texas area. We cover the new lake, Bodark. We cover Hubbard, Lavon, Possum Kingdom, Palestine, Tawakini, OH Ivy, Athens, and much, much more. We cover other species of fish. We cover crappie. We cover catfish. We cover stripers, hybrids, and of course, the main being the bass. So this is your official invite to upgrade from this free subscription to the members only channel. Give it a try. If you don't like it, you unsubscribe. Look in the description below this video, click on members only and follow the procedures. It's real simple. If you want even more, you want to be a Let's Talk Fishing member, the Let's Talk Fishing channel is one more upgrade and it's $9.99 a month. It gives you access to everything that the members have, but you also get a once a week fishing lesson covering superior detail. I mean, we're talking usually about a one hour lesson. Yesterday's lesson was 56 minutes long. Yesterday's lesson, um, or this Sunday's lesson, offshore structure and cover. I go into super, super detail. There is currently 66 videos in the archive. So if you subscribe to Let's Talk Fishing today, you get access to all 66 videos. You got 60 hours plus to watch and catch up on. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. It'll take you some time to catch up on all those videos and all those lessons. And I guarantee you this, you will be a better fisherman. You will learn things. You'll see, make, you know, I have guys that have, have been fishing all their lives and they messaged me and said, wow, you know, I thought I knew everything there was to know about that particular topic. And, and I still picked something out of what you taught. Thank you. So that's called Let's Talk Fishing. Same process, look in the description below, click on Let's Talk and subscribe. If you're struggling to make this subscription, two things. Sometimes phones don't work real well, you need to be from a laptop, but generally it's not that. Generally, the, if you're struggling to find the, the join button, you need to be on the Lake Fork Guides YouTube home page. If you're on the home page, it makes it real easy. All right, so let's go ahead and share with you some crappie for Lake Fork, just to make this public channel a little bit more information. The crappie on Fork has been up and down the past week. Now, this is the last week's report due to the rain and big winds. We had super muddy conditions here in, in, in uh, up in the creeks running where the water's running off and pouring in. It took a few days for those areas to settle and clear back up enough for the bite to pick back up. We're finally seeing some black crappie loading up on certain laydowns and docks. If you find the right ones, you can load the boat quick. Seeing some brush piles in certain areas, also loading up with the white crappie. Um, you can still find the white crappie on timber in 10 to 18 feet of water. Moving out deep over the next few weeks as the spawning comes to an end. Uh, did see a lot of roaming open water fish, which is those fish migrating back out. And it could also be due to some heavy mud and silt in the water if those fish roam a little bit. Um, but anyways, that's kind of the gist of what you're going to see. You'll find the crappie in the clear water a little bit easier to catch than the dirty water. If you're in the dirty water, you want hand-tied jigs with minnows, and the colors are going to be dark green, dark oranges, maybe a little greens and chartreuses. If you're in the clearer water, the blues and grays and greens are working best. This is Jackie Wiggins. He also always says that the minnows are always a go-to bait on fork. They work any time of the year. Jackie's also given us some catfish report on fork. The catfish are on the move into the shallow areas, getting ready to spawn and or chasing the shad spawn. Um, getting good reports of fish being caught around the grass edges. Perfect. Um, They're set up perfect for a perfect bite this year with the lake being full pool. You can still find some fish in the timber in 10 to 25 feet of water. Look for early morning and late roosting birds and fish around those roosting trees. You know, honestly, your best baits 
um, are going to be your tub baits, your pre-prepared catfish baits. Saves you money. Don't spend money on high dollar night crawlers and things like that. And if you'll pre-bait the hole with cattle cubes or sour maize the day before, you'll keep those fish in there longer. You'll fill your limit a lot quicker. All right. That's the gist of what I got for you for a free public report. Big shout out to Texas Insider Fishing Report. Remember, you can find us on TV every week uh, doing our reports covering all of Texas. We've got three coastal three coastal uh, guides, lower coast, mid coast, upper coast, and then we've got three Texas covering the freshwater, three guides, Matt Reed being one of them. Um, and of course that's hosted by Captain Rick Murphy, world famous Captain Rick Murphy. Bree Gabrielle, she was Miss Florida when she was 19. And Dave Farrell, Dave Farrell's Corner. That show's really, really awesome to watch. It's on Valley Sports. You can watch that again. Just Google it if you need to find some showtime. Texas Insider Fishing Report. Texas Insider Fishing Report. Shout out to j -Hod Chevrolet, headline sponsors, Darn Sports Marine, Skeeter Bass Boats, Yamaha Engines, the best engines on the market, and so much, much, much more. Thanks for watching.